Hello friends, you might be hearing about Hadoop quite a bit uh, uh, these days. Irrespective of your background, you should be able to explore Hadoop with the uh, uh, least amount of resources. All you need uh, 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 is a laptop and I will explain the prerequisites for your laptop and then what are the software uh, you need to have to kickstart uh, learning Hadoop. So what are the prerequisites? You need to have a 64-bit uh, laptop and I would highly recommend 8 GB RAM even lesser than 8 GB might work but I would highly recommend 8 GB RAM and 16 GB is uh, uh, desired so that you can uh, 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 you can uh, increase the productivity of your learning and uh, uh, then you need to have 10 GB to 20 GB space uh, for your Hadoop uh, so that you can it all depends upon how much data you want to process while exploring and then you need to have few softwares so to consolidate you need to have a 64 bit uh, uh, operating system on a 8 GB memory laptop and 10 to 20 GB hard disk to explore uh, 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 Hadoop and uh, other tools within Hadoop. If you are using Windows, before starting further, you have to enable VTX. You have to go to VT uh, in in some of the earlier uh, uh, laptops. You have to go to uh, boot menu. You have to restart, and depending upon uh, the vendor of your Windows laptop. Uh, you have to press one of the functional keys uh, in most of the cases I think F10 or F12 I am not 100% sure go to boot menu and uh, uh, enable VTX if you want you can search how to enable VTX uh, for your uh, uh, laptop model and there will be uh, instructions uh, available uh, uh, on your vendors uh, on your laptop vendors website so uh, once you enable the VTX. Now we have to download and install VM software. And there are two major uh, uh, VM softwares VirtualBox and VMware. VirtualBox is free, and VMware uh, is around $49.99 to $99.99, depending upon the software you, you are planning to use. And VMware have two different products uh, called uh, Fusion for Mac and Workstation All Player for Windows. I'm not 100% sure what VM software you have to use for Linux. You can explore it if you are using uh, Linux as operating system. Uh, so now we will first uh, uh, download and install VM software. You can go to Google. I am using Mac and I want to use uh, VMware. So I can search for VMware Fusion because I am using Map, Mac. And uh, uh, you can uh, uh, go there uh, try 30 day evaluation um, and uh, uh, it's pretty straightforward to download and install if you are using mac uh, it will be downloaded in downloads by default uh, so you can uh, uh, you can uh, 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 so uh, it will uh, uh, th this is the name of the file uh, of vmware fusion which i have downloaded uh, which I have already done and you can just double click it and it will uh, it will be pretty straightforward installation there is no configuration that needs to be required once uh, uh, VMware uh, uh, is installed uh, now you have to download something called Cloudera quick start VM so I will explain what it contains uh, but for now uh, if you are interested in exploring Hadoop just install Cloudera quick start VM so I always prefer to download latest versions whenever I do this. So what you need to search in Google is Cloudera Quick Start VM and uh, it will it will uh, provide you a link in Google. You can change the versions if you want. And again it says you need a 64 bit host OS. So if you are using Windows or Mac or Linux it doesn't matter. Uh, but you have to have 64-bit OS and the VMs run with 6, uh, 6, uh, CentOS 6.2 which is uh, uh, 
variation of Red Hat and it's uh, completely open source and free. And uh, uh, Cloudera provide three different types of uh, VMs, uh, one for VMware, one for KVM, uh, I'm not 100% sure about KVM and the other one is VirtualBox. So if you have, if you are already uh, uh, exploring virtual, uh, exploring technologies using virtual software, and if you have VirtualBox, you can download uh, VirtualBox. Uh, sorry, you can download this VM image. And uh, one good thing about VirtualBox is it's free. So if you are just playing with one virtual machine, VirtualBox is fine. But if you want to um, uh, uh, use VM so, uh, VMware uh, virtual management software quite extensively and play around with it uh, then VMware is better than VirtualBox and VMware uh, comes with a cost so you can download uh, you can click on this and it might ask you to fill a form I am not 100% sure uh, so one, uh, once the form is filled um, uh, the file will be downloaded. It will take quite a while. It is 3.3 GB file uh, and the extension is .7z and uh, uh, so you need to have a uh, uh, unzip software or zip software uh, which can uh, understand the 7z extension um, and uh, uh, can unzip it. So you can double click it if you already have 7z software otherwise you have to install something. So in my case, uh, I have already installed uh, and uh, sorry, I have already unzipped um, using the software called Keka. Uh, so I am just uh, cancelling it. And once uh, it is uh, unzipped, you will see uh, directory like this. And I have unzipped uh, uh, in the same location. If you want to unzip to a different location, you have to go to uh, settings of your zip software and give the appropriate path wherever you want to uh, unzip your uh, uh, VM, uh, VM image of, uh, sorry, Cloudera Quick Start VM. So once you unzip, if you double click it, it will look like this. And uh, irrespective of uh, it's a VMX, uh, sorry, a virtual box image or uh, uh, VMware image, uh, there will be a file called .vmx. So you don't need to understand uh, all these things at this time. Uh, just double click on .vmx file and it will open uh, uh, with uh, uh, whatever uh, virtual management software you are using. So in some cases, if you are using VirtualBox, I think it might open up settings before starting it. And if it opens for settings, and if you have 16 GB RAM on your laptop, I will highly recommend, uh, sorry, um, it will be good if you uh, change your memory settings of your VM to 8 GB and uh, uh, course to 2. Uh, the reason is there is a software called uh, Cloudera Manager uh, inside the VM and it has many features uh, to, to manage your Hadoop tools uh, without going to command line. I am not going to cover that in detail in this video uh, but I would uh, if you have a 16 GB laptop I would hi uh, uh, I will suggest you to configure VM, your VM with 8 GB RAM if you don't have uh, many uh, VM uh, images uh, uh, running on your box and also two cores. Uh, so it is opening up, it will take little time. If you if you are using Mac and if you didn't ask if it didn't ask to change the memory settings and if you want to uh, do those settings what you can do is you can go to and go to settings okay and then under process and memory you can uh, increase or decrease the memory uh, for your VM image and um, uh, now as it is up and running uh, all are grayed out but uh, uh, you, you, you need to shut it down to make these changes if you want to make the changes, shut down your uh, uh, virtual uh, image, uh, that uh, Cloudera Quick Start VM image, change the memory and change the uh, course 
and then uh, start the box. Start the Cloudera Quick Start VM. We are almost there. Come on. I'm not sure why it is taking this much of time. Let me. It is coming up, I think. Yeah, it is started. I think I have too many things going on on my box. So it is taking a little time. I am closing all the stuff. So that is it, it is uh, now up and running. So what does this uh, uh, virtual uh, machine have? So if you look at the top, uh, you have uh, Mozilla Firefox uh, installed on that. And uh, if you uh, uh, open up, you will see uh, menus, uh, which are uh, sorry, uh, hyperlinks, which are already bookmarked. And, uh, and uh, this have a tool called Hue, which will consolidate all the Hadoop uh, uh, tools, which we will learn over time. And uh, then it also have, uh, let me increase the size of the screen. It also have the Cloudera Manager. But yeah, Cloudera Manager will, uh, uh, will you, you will be able to run Cloudera Manager without making any changes if you have only configured your VM with 8 dB RAM uh, and two virtual CPUs. In my case, I didn't do that because my Mac is only 8 dB laptop, so I cannot give 8 dB RAM for my uh, uh, virtual uh, quick start uh, Cloudera Quick Start VM. And then uh, there are plenty of uh, other links. Uh, so for now, you can uh, uh, go to Hue and uh, do admin admin. Well, for first time, you can uh, use any pa username password, I think. Oh, admin admin did not work. So you can give Cloudera Cloudera. And, uh, and then uh, there are plenty of tools uh, related to Hadoop which are uh, which which can be run uh, using Hue. 
anyway this is not a hue demo i just want to show uh, what all are what are all available so you have hue you have cloudera manager and you uh, you can go to terminal uh, terminal is like shell prompt uh, in windows and you can run your hadoop commands to validate that uh, uh, hadoop tools are up and running you can run hadoop and you can see uh, instructions uh, uh, sorry help here and there is a command called hadoop fs uh, which we will understand later and then minus ls and then slash user So it is up and running uh, without any issues and also using ui what you can do is you can go to hadoop and click on name node and then it will go to the uh, name node web ui this is some uh, uh, this is uh, called as name node web ui uh, and you can uh, check the health of uh, your hadoop cluster uh, going there so you can check the data nodes it's a single node uh, vm so you will have only one and uh, uh, it is in operation without any issues okay so this is uh, about cloudera quick start vm uh, i hope you enjoy this session uh, in subsequent sessions uh, we will see uh, other details um, depending upon the path uh, we will take whether uh, you want to go for development or uh, uh, as a developer or you, you want to use Hue for analytics, what, uh, whatever path uh, you decide to choose, uh, this is the baseline uh, depending upon uh, your background and uh, you can follow uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and check the other videos uh, to get more details. I hope you enjoyed this session. Uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, to learn more stuff and uh, also click on like uh, um, uh, see, see the description uh, for, uh, for the review of the material if you come back uh, to this uh, uh, YouTube video again and uh, uh, comment if you have any questions uh, on this video. Thank you.